Can I stay on my low-dose GLP-1 forever? I get asked this question by patients every single day. The short answer is no, and here's why. Therapeutic doses for GLP-1s either start at 0.25 milligrams or 2.5 milligrams. Anything lower than that is considered a microdose. And in the beginning, this can help to minimize side effects, but in order to affect long-term metabolic changes, you typically need therapeutic doses. There's one caveat to this, and that's if you're already at your goal weight and you don't wanna lose anymore but you still want the benefits of the medication. Even have patients who come to me and feel like a failure when they have to increase their dosing in order for that medication to be therapeutic. And the truth is that is completely normal for you to need to increase your dose to see the results that you wanna see. Another truth is there's not great data out on microdosing and its health benefits long term. Sure, anecdotally, we do see decreased inflammation. We do have some patients who come off of rheumatoid arthritis medications or other anti-inflammatory, but those are anecdotal and there hasn't been a large scale long term study investigating this. What is interesting is a large pharmaceutical company is going for an indication for Alzheimer's disease for these medications within the next 12 months. And we already know that these medications are indicated for fatty liver, for metabolic syndrome, for diabetes. So the long and the short of it is if you're looking to lose weight, microdosing isn't enough. If you're looking for long-term health benefits, microdosing may be helpful, but there need to be more studies done. But whatever you're doing, make healthy lifestyle choices, eat the rainbow, exercise every day, find community. And if you have one more tool in your toolkit now, that might be helpful.